gold hardware. So the Bottega handbag, and I'm not just a fan of it, but it's it's okay. It's not bad. And the Balenciaga handbag. That's all I've seen. So if you know where I can find an orange luxury handbag, please let me know. Orange and white. Those are the colors that I'm looking for. Welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury on today informative video letting you guys know a few updates and what is going on. Before we get started, make sure you view those past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Okay, my friends, let's get into the handbag of the day. Guys, look at my hair. <laughs> my hair appointment is tomorrow. I feel like I'm a part of the Temptations, the group, or like the five heartbeats. Because look at the side part. Okay, hair day's tomorrow. <laughs> Every day tomorrow. But let me get into the handbag of the day, guys. You see it peeking? Yes, handbag of the day is the beautiful LV multi pochette canvas. Of course, I have this strap in so many different colors in the khaki and also in the pink. Here it is, guys. I love, love, love the coin purse that they added to the multi-pochette. Of course, I always say this is two bags in one. Rumor on the streets, the LV streets, that is going to be discontinued in 2023. Um, I will have an update. That's just rumored right now. But as of right now, I am just going to enjoy having this beauty in my collection. You guys know I also had, because I just sold, the black umpront in the multi-pochette. I just feel like nothing compares to the canvas in this, you know, in this specific style handbag. So this was the handbag of the day. I just have on the Marquita LV Luxury shirt, of course, branding. I just have on um, some linen bottoms that I got from TJ Maxx. They were on sale for $8.99 pink and yellow you can't miss very very simple running errands getting ready for the weekend and here it is simple look love 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 the more typo shit we did at the beginning just like the bombad had a love hate relationship quickly grew on me because you can wear this handbag in so many different ways so i am happy to have this in my collection and she is here to stay okay guys let's get into a conversation i have my phone out i wrote everything down in my notes i want to first show you something look at this handbag This handbag was purchased in 2016 from Aldo, guys. I was a big, big Aldo fan before I even stepped, you know, before I could afford. <laughs> I stepped into the luxury community of LV. Back then, it was $55. And it was from Aldo, as you guys will see, never used, but... It was just like a a reminder honestly of where i i came from but i was so happy then still just like i'm happy now and so guys we make the handbags remember when i told you that we make the handbags luxury okay we are actually building these brands and when i came across this it was just like happiness like i was like i am going to keep this bag and I love these color combos together. And I am going to wear this 
handbag. Because I am Marquita, I am luxury, and I am going to rock this baby. So I just wanted to, you know, show you guys that yes, I have not always shopped at, you know, Fendi, Gucci. And so here it is. It was a reminder and I really, really needed this reminder. It came with a strap inside. Let me get it out. Oh, it's down in here. You can tell I haven't, <laughs> it's attached. Um, but it comes with a matching pink strap, adjustable, guys, gold hardware. So, hey, I am honestly happy that I came across this handbag, but I wanted to share with my YouTube family. How gorgeous is this? Okay, so guys, let's talk. Chanel. I just want to know why is it so hard for me to get my hand back? That's why I didn't pay them. That's why I didn't pay the invoice because they told me after the first incident, I had no worries. They received trendy CCs, you know, every so often and that they were going to receive one and have it for me in August. The end of August, the end of August, pass we are now in september i didn't even receive a text message just a text message saying hey you know we didn't receive the trendy cc how about this give me another option nothing at all why did i have to text i text oh no sorry guys that was it nothing else after that not sorry we didn't receive the trendy cc like we said we were oh no i'm sorry i'm done i'm done i am done i'm not even upset i'm not even upset but i am done with chanel in the galleria here in houston texas i'm not going to give up all i want is a trendy cc color black gold hardware I want the first time buyer experience. I want to be able to walk in, hold the bag, try it on. Either they ship it to me or I walk out with the item. That's it. I do not want, I don't, I'm not against, you know, consignment shops. But I want my first purchase from Chanel to be just that. First time purchase for it to be brand new. So, it didn't work out again. I'm not upset. I'm just disappointed, okay? Disappointed with customer service because I'm big on customer service. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. So, I wanted to give an update. A few of you guys asked in the comments. I tried. Um, I do, I do want the Trendy CC. It was on my, on my wish list. I'm just not even looking forward to it anymore, like... I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, I heard the quality have went down with Chanel. Like, I honestly don't know what's going on. And I honestly was looking at Chanel for a white handbag as well. So, we'll get into that. But I wanted to give you guys an update on that. Okay. I need a wallet. I need a card holder to match this beauty. Right now, the only thing that I have that comes close is this from Fendi, the Fendi card holder. Do you guys mix and match brands? I understand you can mix and match, you know, different designs, but in the same luxury brand, like, hey, Damier Yvine with Monogram. But do you guys use other luxury brands? Do you guys mix? Like... <laughs> This is all I can find. LV, unless I use a monogram canvas, you know, card holder. I don't know, but this is it. Perfect match, perfect color. And so right now, I feel like I'm just going to stick with this card holder until LV release something. I know the Felici comes with inserts. So if you do have the Felici, and then you order the Speedy, you can use the insert from the Felici here as a card holder, but I didn't order the Felici. So how do you guys feel about this? Perfect match. 
okay. A lot of you guys asked me about Telfar handbags. I wanted to support this company. I wanted to support this company. I wanted to support my people. I wanted to support this company. I'm not big on blasting at all because I am a business owner. But my <laughs> my sister has a Telfar bag, okay? Once she received the Telfar bag, this was last year. It was delivered. It had a pin mark on the front of the bag. Took pictures. I went over there. I'm just going to tell you, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with the material. Um, just the look, period. But, hey, me, I just wanted to support. So, I just told her to take pictures and to email customer service. Let them know, hey, this was just delivered. I say, do it ASAP. Okay? You don't want to give them any reason to think you had this handbag a day and you did it. So, she did it ASAP, circled when it was delivered, everything. Custom service, they were apologetic. They emailed back like 48 hours later. Okay, you apologize, but what's the next step after that? When I tell you she emailed over and over again, no, no more response. That was it. The only thing where she messed up is not trying to send it back in time because she did let time go by. They finally responded and they told her that it was past the time frame. That's a big no-no for me. That's a big no-no. That was last year. So I was like, hey, you know, in business, we grow. Mistakes happen that could have just been a, you know, a bad customer service rep. I'm going to give it a try. I can't, I can't order because it's always sold out. I don't want to chase handbags. That's not what I do. I don't want to chase handbags at all. So I do want to order from Telfar, but I don't want to have to chase the bags. I don't want to have to, hey, I'm too busy. I can't sit on the phone. Hey, it's going to be released this day. It's going to be released at this time. I can't do that. So if you have the bag, how did you get the bag? Did you go through the same having to sit and wait and monitor your phone, set an alarm? I don't want to do that, guys. I just want to go on there and order a bag, try the brand out. I hear good things. I also hear bad things. I just want to try it out. So a lot of you said this in the comments. Telfar, as of right now, is sold out and I can't get the bag. So yesterday, I checked my email. Some of you said Teddy Blake. They actually reached out to me, you know, for influencer collab. So I am going to do an unboxing from Teddy Blake here soon. I just kind of just want to see the quality because we speak on luxury, guys. How do you define luxury? How do you define luxury in a handbag? Do you look at the price or do you look at the quality of the handbag? Because we name all of these different luxury brands, but what about these other brands that sell handbags that have very, very good quality, but they're lower price, under $500? So how do you define luxury in your eyes? Because I think that we put this label that the higher the item is, that's more luxury. But we receive these items and the quality sucks. So, with Teddy Blake, I am going to accept the Influencer Collab. Hey, free handbag. I'm excited. I am going to do an unboxing and I am going to give my honest opinion on this company, the price, and also the quality. So, if you do have a Teddy Blake handbag in your collection, please share your experience. How was the shipping? How was the packaging? I'm big on packaging. And the quality the upkeep of the handbag for you and also some of you guys said birkin handbag let me tell you something i don't care how many millions i have in my account i will not pay fourteen thousand plus for one handbag i won't do it <laughs> i won't do it my husband pushes for it, pushes for it. Hey, look, husband, I love you. I'm telling you guys, I'm not doing it. 
To me, it looks like an on-the-go tote. It looks like my city steamer handbag that's back there. And I paid 5000 for that. I can get, what, three of those. I'm not doing it. Guys, I hang around, and this is not boastfully speaking, when I go out with these investment opportunities, some of the ladies have Birkin bags. I, I hey, they look at my bags, I look at their bags, I pick it up. Hey, so what's so good about it? I don't know, I got caught all in the hype. Or, hey, they told me if I purchase this later on, it's a great investment piece. So you pay 20,000 for the handbag, right? You pay 20,000 for the handbag in hopes that someone will want to purchase it after it's been used, pay you what, 25,000? How much investment are you going to get back on this handbag? And if it doesn't sell, you have to then send it to a consignment shop to where they get a piece of the of the change. I mean, I don't understand. No, I'm not speaking down on the Birkin bags at all. I'm just using this for me, okay? I'm using this for me. $14,000, that's two bags. Can I go and get it? Yes, I sure can. In my collection, is over $250,000 in here, but I'm thinking smart, pacing myself. So Birkin bag, guys, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't care how much I have in my savings. I don't, I'm not going to do it. So that's a no, okay? That's a no. And another thing, guys, for the white handbag, I want the bossed up look, okay? I'm thinking about something that's shaped like an on-the-go tote. I'm not sure if I want small or little, but I want it to have a bossed up appearance as well. For the orange, I want more of a, like a hip hop, like not hip hop urban look i can't describe it but i it doesn't have to be bossed up it can be an everyday bag little cute tote because i know i'm not going to wear it that much it's going to be strictly probably for fall um to go with some of my brown pieces my brown outfits so for the white i do want a bossed up look because a small handbag can still be a bossed up look it just depends on the hardware and the shape of the bag but for that orange, I want more of a like an urban grab and go laid back type. You can wear with a sweater. I can wear with tennis shoes, my Nike shoes. I can wear with my Yeezys. So if you guys know exactly what I'm speaking on, some of you guys are emailing. Thank you so much. Send them to me via DM on Instagram. So the white bag, more of a bossed up look. The orange urban everyday wear i can wear with more with tennis shoes and boots my booties okay keep that in mind when you guys are trying to help me and before i end this video guys um i just want to let you know i'm going to look through my phone because i don't want to make any mistakes i was invited i'm not sure if i'm going to go to um lb's lb diamonds collection it is going to be Thursday, September 22nd, okay, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. It is going to be held in New York. It's by invite only. Me and my husband, we're thinking about going. I always turn down the invites, guys, and I am big on networking. And like I said, my influencer, the influencer side of YouTube is really, really picking up. And so I do have some people that I watch on YouTube, you know, in the LB community. And so... I think me and my husband want to catch a quick flight and we're going to go and just experience it and probably go shopping out there. I'm not sure. Um, but I think I am going to go and experience this. And she said that um, the flagship store, I'm not familiar with that. Of course, I haven't been, but she said that it's the largest store in the U.S. for Louis, Louis Vuitton Americas. So she said it's going to be a ball. I think I'm going to go. You know, just expand my wings, try something different and go. Of course, I am going to vlog if they allow it, but I think I'm going to go. So guys, I need help. If you know, if you if your Chanel rep has a trendy CC or if they can get me one, let me know. I'm not chasing. 
anything, I'm not sure if it's even in season. I'm very patient, okay? So if they can't find it, let me know. Also, keep in mind the white handbag, I want more of a bossed up look. And the orange, I want kind of a laid bag with my tennis shoes. I am going to give you an update on the Teddy Blake. Once I receive it, I am going to do an unboxing and share with you guys. If you have a Teddy Blake handbag, let me know in the comments. And if you have a Telfar handbag, how is the quality? What's the upkeep? How long have you had it? And did you have to go through a hustle just to purchase that handbag? I have so many questions. So this video is basically me reaching out for help. I need some answers from you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I think I have the color of the YSL Nikki handbag that I'm going to go for. I am picking a size medium, but once I receive it, I am going to do an unboxing and reveal the color then. And last thing for sale, this is the medium pochette from By the Pool collection, the Kirigami collection. The larger pochette, I gave that away for the 20K giveaway, but this is the medium pochette here. I also included an insert from Swag My Bag collection. This beauty here is $500 plus shipping. If you go on my Instagram page, I have worn this in so many different ways. You can hold cards. It's just like a mini pochette. The multi pochette in the unprompt black leather is sold. The Clapton backpack, I have forgot the name. Thank you guys for reminding me. That is now sold. The only thing left is the Neo Noe in the unprompt turtle dove. And also the Noe BB in the monogram and Vachetta. Okay, that's it. This beauty is for sale. Please email. I have too many DMs that come through. Email marquitalvluxury at gmail.com. Please ask your husband first. Please do not have me give you all this information. Send different pictures. Go back and forth. And then you tell me, hey, I got to check with my husband. Please check with your husband first. I'm showing you it's in great condition. Use one time insert inside no marks brand new okay brand new send an email not a dm so guys help your girl out answer some of these questions that i need help with as always stay safe and stay blessed until next video bye bye